Hello again, everyone. This video is about counting uncountable nouns. And we're going to use measure words to do it. So, how can we count uncountable nouns? As I said, we use measure words to count them. And I'm going to talk about some of the most common uncountable nouns, mostly food, and how we count them in this video. Let's begin with a very common uncountable noun, bread. Now, let's say you have some bread and you want to tell someone exactly how much you have. We know that bread is uncountable, but we can count a slice, meaning one slice of bread, or slices of bread, maybe two slices or three slices. Or we can say a piece of bread or two pieces of bread. You see, when we use that structure of a piece of bread, it's always of the uncountable noun, all right? Or it's the whole bread we call a loaf of bread or loaves of bread. That's the plural of loaf, all right? So just remember that structure and pretty much all of these uh, uncountable nouns, when we use these measure words, they use of and then the uncountable noun, whatever it happens to be. If it happens to be a slice, a piece, a loaf, it's always of the uncountable noun. All right, and let's look at some more. If we want to count any kind of meat or fish in general, for example, beef, pork, chicken, again, or fish, we can, we can count it by saying a piece of meat, you can say a piece of pork or whatever, a slice of meat, or a hunk of meat. All right, again, you can use all of these. You can substitute meat for whatever one you want. Fish, a piece of pork, a piece of chicken, okay? A slice of meat, all of those. Because the, the measure word piece is countable. So we can say pieces of meat, or we can use another one, slice. A slice of meat, or slices of meat if we want to count them, if you want to count more than one. And then we could even use hunk, a hunk of meat or hunks of meat. Got it? We can also use the countable noun slice for things like cheese. We can count a slice of cheese, that's one slice, or slices of cheese, it's more than one slice, or with cheese, the word that's used a lot is chunk, a chunk of cheese, or chunks of cheese. How about butter? Can we count butter? Well, we can count a slice of butter is one slice, or slices, more than one slice, or the whole, what we call a stick of butter or sticks of butter. We can count sticks, maybe three, four sticks. We also use the measure word, or measure words, slice and piece for fruit. We say a slice of fruit, or slices of fruit, or a piece of fruit, or pieces of fruit. And for other uncountable nouns or food or whatever we're trying to count, and it's an uncountable noun, we use containers. Why do we use containers? Well, we can count containers. So a very common container is a bowl. So let's begin by using bowl and see what we can count with a bowl. For very common uncountable Food nouns are rice, soup, cereal, and pasta. And all of these can be counted by using a bowl. We say a bowl of rice, or soup, or cereal, or pasta, or we can say bowls. We can count the bowls. 
right? Bowls of rice, bowls of soup, bowls of cereal, or bowls of pasta. Another popular container is a jar. And usually we put sticky stuff in the jar. Not, maybe not always, but it's usually in there. For example, jelly, a jar of jelly, or jam, a jar of jam, a jar of peanut butter, or a jar of honey. And then to make it plural or to count those, we can say jars of jelly or jars of jam or jars of peanut butter or jars of honey. Another common container is a box. And very common ones are a box of cereal or let's say a box of pasta. And then to you have more than one box, there are boxes. Boxes of cereal and boxes of pasta. Bags are also very popular for counting things, such as flour, a bag of flour, a bag of rice, or sugar, right? one bag. Or again, we can, bag is countable, so we can say bags of flour, bags of rice, or bags of sugar. We also use cartons or a carton to count things, such as juice, a carton of juice, or a carton of milk, or a carton of ice cream. And if we have more than one carton, we can say cartons, right? Cartons of juice, cartons of milk, and cartons of ice cream. A bottle is also very, very common. You'll see bottles of everything, right? In the store or wherever, and it's a place where we keep liquid. So very common is a bottle of beer, a bottle of soda, a bottle of wine, or a bottle of water. And if we have more than one, we can say bottles of beer, bottles of soda, bottles of wine, and bottles of water. And another common container is a glass. And we use it a lot for liquids. We say a glass of beer, a glass of juice, a glass of wine, a glass of water, which is very common. All right, or we can count the glasses. Glasses of beer, glasses of juice, glasses of wine, or glasses of water. Another popular container that we use is a tube. And we use it to count things such as toothpaste, a tube of toothpaste, a tube of glue, or we even use it for a tube of lipstick. They come in tubes, right? So we say tubes, tubes of toothpaste, tubes of glue, or tubes of lipstick. A can is a very popular container, and we use it for such things as a can of tuna, a can of beer, a can of soda, a can of meat, any kind of meat, or fish. And if there's more than one can, we say cans of tuna, cans of beer, cans of soda, or cans of meat. Another very popular measure word is bar, and we use bars to count things like chocolate. We could say a bar of chocolate, or a bar of soap, or a bar of gold. And if there's more than one, we say bars. Bars of chocolate, bars of soap, or bars of gold, if you're lucky. Okay, that's all for this video. And here's a summary. You can pause the video and take a look at everything that we just did. And in my next video, I'm gonna give you a little test. So study this. And remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.